you can change your life in 90 days. Here's how you do it. You can completely change your life and become unrecognizable in just 90 days. I know this because I've done it myself and so have countless others. If you feel stuck, lost, or simply need a change, trust me, I've been there and you can do this too. In this video, I'm going to show you how. The most important takeaway from this video is to start now. We often want for the perfect moment, like the new year to make significant changes. But the truth is, that time rarely comes. As Tony Robbins says, the path to success is to take massive determined action. Don't wait for tomorrow or the next quarter. Start now. The only way to truly transform is to take action today. A 90-day period is perfect for transformation. It's long enough to see real change but short enough to keep you motivated. Let's break this down a bit more. First, why 90 days? Well, research shows it takes about 21 days to form a habit and 66 days for that habit to become automatic. This means that in just three weeks, you can start to develop a new routine, whether it's exercising, eating healthier, or learning a new skill. But to make that habit stick, you need a bit more time. By the time you reach 90 days, those new habits are becoming a natural part of your life. Think of it this way. Imagine you want to start a daily exercise routine. The first three weeks might be tough. You might struggle to get out of bed early or feel sore after workouts. But after 21 days, it starts to get easier. By 66 days, working out is becoming part of your daily routine. You don't have to think about it as much. You just do it. By 90 days, it's a solid part of your lifestyle. A set deadline like 90 days also helps combat procrastination. We all tend to put things off, especially when there's no urgency. But when you give yourself a clear timeline, it creates a sense of urgency. It's like having a project deadline at work or school. You're more likely to stay focused and get things done when you know there's a time limit. To begin transforming your life, start with a life audit. Evaluate your current situation, how you spend your time, what your days look like, and where you stand in various areas of life. Use a tool like the Wheel of Life to assess these areas. Once you've done this, write down what your ideal life looks like in each area. For example, when I did my life audit, I realized I felt tired and unmotivated to work out. My ideal self was active working out regularly and feeling great. By writing this down, I set a clear vision for what I wanted to achieve. With your life audit complete, you'll know what changes you need to make. Don't try to change everything at once. Focus on two or three high impact areas, quality over quantity. Ask yourself, what can I do today that will have the biggest impact tomorrow? When I focus on becoming fit and strong, it improved my relationships and work because I felt good and projected that energy outward. Remember, consistency is more important than motivation. Motivation can come and go, but it's the consistent action you take every day that really make the difference. Imagine you're trying to build a house. Motivation is like a burst of energy that helps you lay a few bricks quickly, but it's consistency that ensures you lay bricks every single day until the house is finished. As James Clear explained, explains in his book Atomic Habits, you do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. This means that while having big goals is great, what really matters are the small daily actions you take to reach those goals. Your systems, your habits, and routines are what really carry you forward even when motivation is low. Let's break this down with a simple example. Suppose you want to get fit. Your goal might be to run a marathon or or lose 20 pounds. These are big goals and they can be very motivating. But what happens on the days when you don't feel like running or when the weather is bad? If you rely only on motivation, you might skip your workout. But if you have a system in place like running for 30 minutes every morning no matter what, you'll keep moving forward. This consistent action will lead to results over time. To make consistency work for you, plan your actions for each month week and day. Break your big goals into smaller, manageable tasks. This makes it easier to stay on track and see your progress. For example, if you
you want to read more, set a goal to read one chapter every day. By the end of the month, you will have finished a whole book. I'll share a personal story to illustrate this. I once set a 30-day goal to shift my mindset from self-doubt to self-confidence. I knew that making confident decisions was key to this transformation. So, I planned to make at least one big decision on my own each week without asking for anyone else's opinion. At first, it was tough. I second-guessed myself and worried about making the wrong choice. But I stuck with it. Each week, I made a decision, big or small, and over time, my confidence grew. By the end of 30 days, I felt more self-assured and capable. Consistency also helps you build momentum. When you take small steps every day, you start to see progress, and this progress fuels your motivation. It's like pushing a snowball down a hill. At first, it's small and takes effort to get moving, but as it rolls, it gathers more snow and momentum, becoming bigger and moving faster on its own. The key takeaway here is to create systems that support your goals. Set up routines that can make it easy to take consistent action. If you want to eat healthier, plan your meals each week and prepare healthy snacks in advance. If you want to learn a new skill, dedicate a specific time each day to practice. By doing this, you remove the need to rely on motivation alone. True transformation requires becoming a different person. This means letting go of your old self and past behaviors that no longer serve you. It's like shedding an old skin to reveal a new, better version of yourself underneath. Let's talk about what this really means. Imagine you have a favorite old sweater. It's comfortable and familiar, but it's also worn out and full of holes. To stay warm and look your best, you need to replace it with a new, better fitting sweater. The same goes for your habits and behaviors. If you want to transform your life, you need to replace old unhelpful habits with new positive ones. Start by identifying what's blocking your progress. Often, it's your past self, your old habits, routines, and ways of thinking. These things may have served you in the past, but they might be holding you back now. For example, I had to give up binge watching. At the time, this activity seemed like fun ways to relax and escape stress. But I realized they didn't align with my goal of creating valuable content and sharing my journey with others. Instead of helping me, they were wasting my time and energy. Think of it this way. If you want to climb a mountain, you can't carry a heavy backpack full of unnecessary stuff. You need to lighten your load by getting rid of anything that doesn't help you reach the top. In my case, binge watching was like heavy weights pulling me down. I had to let them go to move forward. Let's break this down with another simple example, which is one of my struggles. Let me know if this resonates with you. Suppose you want to be a morning person who gets up early to exercise and start the day with energy. But right now, you stay up late watching TV and struggle to get out of bed in the morning. To transform, you need to let go of the habit of staying up late and replace it with a new habit of going to bed earlier. This way, you wake up refreshed and ready to tackle the day. Oh, this one was a true struggle for me since I always do the deep work late at night when the kids are already asleep. Transformation also helps changing your mindset. If you constantly doubt yourself, you need to start believing in your abilities. It's about telling yourself, I can do this even when it feels challenging. This new way of thinking will help you take action and stay committed to your goal. Let's say you want to lose weight and live a healthier lifestyle. Your old self loved snacking on junk food and skipping workouts. In order for you to transform, you have to change these habits. You start by replacing unhealthy snacks with fruits and veggies and scheduling regular exercise sessions. It is not easy at first. You will miss your favorite treats and struggle with motivation. But over time, these new habits will become part of your routine. You will not only lose weight but also feel more 
energetic and confident. Another example, if you wanted to change your career, you are comfortable in your current job but felt unfulfilled. To transform, you have to let go of the fear of change and the security of your familiar job. Start taking courses, network with professionals in your desired field, and apply for new positions. This is the exact thing I did when I quit my safe, secure nursing job to pursue entrepreneurship. It was a big risk and very scary. But by stepping out of my comfort zone and adopting new behaviors, I was able to create a life of my own terms. To sum up, true transformation means becoming a different person by letting go of old habits and behaviors that no longer serve you. It's about identifying what's blocking your progress and replacing those things with positive actions and a new mindset. This process might be challenging, but it's the key to reaching your goals and creating the life you truly want. So take a look at your own life. What old habits do you need to strip away? What new actions can you start taking today to become the person you want to be? The journey might be tough, but the transformation will be worth it. If you've made this far, I encourage you to start now. Don't just click off this video and watch more content. Grab a pen and paper, do your life audit, and get started. I'm excited to hear about your transformation in the next 90 days.